mic is muted. Let me go. Wait. Is it Fun fact, I'm actually in bio right now. I'm supposed to be in bio right now. But nothing's happening, so I decided to film. I was originally planning that I was not gonna cave. Is the audio even okay? Okay, so I was originally planning that I was not gonna, you know, cave and do the aesthetic, you know, IS4 thing. I was 14, oh my god. But then Fun fact, one time yesterday, you know, I was in my English Zoom and it was boring as hell, and then I one hour later I Customize on my home screen instead. So now we have a new video. It's actually really, really a momentous moment for me because I never like do anything with my home screen. Like I just, it's always ugly as fuck. Um, my friend bro. I decided to make this video. I was like, should I make the video? And then she was like, yeah, I'll watch. And I was like, if she'll watch, that's the only person who matters. So I'm just gonna make it because you said you'll watch it. Uh, so I really hope you're watching it right now. If you're not watching this, that's just an L for me, so. This video is gonna be partially like a tutorial so you know how to do it but it's also gonna be like a chill what's on my iPhone video because sometimes I just like talking about myself. My lock screen is Tinkerbell laughing. I feel like it really captures my spirit and she's also sitting on a building block for a child because I am stupid. And this is my home screen. Dude, okay. Okay, first I'm gonna just, <laughs> first I'm gonna show you the apps. I'm like, I'm not unmuted, right? First thing, I have this widget of a teacup that my friend Georgia painted, and it's really funny. Then we have Gmail, photos, settings, and camera. In the middle, I have this widget, right? So I chose Alice in Wonderland because, I don't know, she just looks like super distracted over there, and I can really relate to that. After that, we have the single-handedly most important app on my phone, and it's called Threes. I swear to god, if you open my screen report or whatever, I'm pretty sure this app beats out the competition because um, I play it literally every day of my life and it's actually very, very depressing. If I get like anxious, I just open this app and like swipe around and play it and I've gotten Loki really good at it. <laughs> Next app is, oh my god, another cute app! It's called Whale Trail. I don't know why my like games are on the front page. Hi guys! My whale is a drag queen named Wendy. By the way, can we talk about... Basically, the music in this app is the most relaxing thing ever. Like, it makes me happy. <laughs> the next app we have is Voice Memos. I use this literally all the time. Uh, it actually takes up like 900 gigs. Wait, no, it takes 900 megabytes on my phone storage because I like to store all of my, go away. I like to store all of my, it looks new. I store all of my like song ideas or whatever in here and it goes back all the way to 6th grade. Damn, when did I get my phone? 6th grade. What's the deal? Okay, by the way, what's the deal with like kids having phones? Like they don't even need phones. I got my first phone in 6th grade. I remember being in elementary school and like begging my mom like, please, please, please just get me a fucking phone. And she was like, no. Now I understand. Why are children walking around with phones? You do not need that. Like just enjoy like books or something. Like just chill. Dude, oh my god. Get a childhood. I. No judgment. I have a little bit of judgment. Anyway, next app is YouTube. Okay, that's my Leia. I love her. Notes, I never use that. Uh, I use Evernote, which is down in the bottom. Do I open it? Do I have to open every app? Like, how do these videos even work? Well, I'm not getting premium. Basically, I use that to, like, write songs and stuff. Why, why am I making it all about music? Okay, interesting. Next, I have Weather. I never use that. WhatsApp, which I disguised as something else. Oh, that's my group chat with my school friends. It's how I'm doing in school right now. Class had 13 people. Anyway, basically if you live in Asia, you have to use WhatsApp because messages, you pay for those. Oh, interesting, I have an app called Sleep Cycle. It's a shortcut, but like, I'll talk about it later, okay? Just chill. It's a smart alarm, so you just put it by your bed and then like, it wakes you up at the end of your cycle. Um, it records you during the whole thing, so low-key, there could be a spy hearing me snore. Uh, so this app's kind of risky. But I don't really care because I like the ringtones on it. Next slide. Do I have to talk about the bottom first? God damn it. Okay. Talk about Evernote, Snapchat. Use this all the time. So many people say they don't even like Snapchat anymore. And I just don't understand because there are so many really fun ways to use it. Like, for example, this feature. Uh, I stink. And then you can just send it to your besties. <laughs> I just realized I'm going to get that snap. I'm going to be so confused. Oopsies. I'm so bad at this. I do not understand how many heart attacks I've been having, like, what if I'm not on mute my whole entire bio class can hear me, like, ranting about my stupid fucking phone that nobody even cares about? I got the chill. Instagram, we all know, yeah. 
Uh, I made a new Instagram just for you just for you so I was like hey guys my goal is one follower and I actually got 31 followers so I think I improved by what is that 3,200 percent uh, next goal 32 followers can we do it oh Spotify I love Spotify I use it all the time follow me on Spotify my artist page follow this page come on do you like make playlists well because I can't make playlists I don't understand how people are like follow me on Spotify and like mm -hmm, listen to my playlist like no. Follow me on Spotify. Oh, this is my Georgia page. This is my best friend. She did a picture of us. And so I put that as a giant widget. I'll tell you how to do that later. Oh my God, I hate this. I have this app that's offloaded, but it's really cool. Tom Hanks made it. So if Tom Hanks made it, everyone approves. Um, I, next I have TikTok. I have 11 notifications. Oh, Isis. Sup girl, I'll check them later. Bitmoji, oh my god, I love Bitmojis so much. They're so freaking fun! My favorite part of Snapchat! Wearing an outfit that's way more stylish than I'll ever be in my life. And she's really happy about math, which is not actually what I'm like at all. Goodreads, I use this all the time to like log my books and stuff. So if you have any recommendations, just let me know. I have one friend on here. No one has a Goodreads because no one likes reading anymore. And I think it's a really sad state that the world is in. Reading is underrated and should be loved a little bit more if you ask me. Okay, but on the top right, I have this widget of this really, really, really funny blanket of Peppa Pig and her family, but they're all wearing a Chinese outfit for I don't even know why. I tried explaining this to people and they did not understand the humor. It's so funny. Why are they wearing Chinese outfits? And the fact that like Chinese people love eating pork, okay? <laughs> like I gotta stop. <laughs> Next page, we have this alternate notes app ugly dream journal i had one one note in here and i forgot to write my dreams rick and morty <laughs> dude dude are you reading this dream right now okay next i have this app called pancake tower i was addicted to this for a little bit next i have clock did you know that the hands move next i have new york times if i want to look smart next i have this game called tape it up i don't play it anymore but it looks cute next i have lifestyle clearly i haven't done it in a while because it's offloaded next i have this folder called lifestyle i haven't organized in years i have 10,000 apps prime rhyme if i want to find a rhyme for music so you can do like whatever so we have pinterest and suddenly i got addicted to it like i've been really wanting to step up my style now i can rip people's styles off and try to look good like i ripped this off this like tank top with the jacket thing that's not even me i am literally lying to you right now this is not my real personality do you even know me i don't think so guitar tabs if i want to search up a song i usually do it on my computer though which is why it's not downloaded clue offloaded i never track my period anymore i'm too damn lazy to do that if my period comes my period comes nike run club oh my god memories <laughs> it's offloaded i can't run here there's nowhere to run but when i went to my summer camp it on me we go on little runs and it was really fun. Chrome, don't really use that much because when you, when I want to type something, I just like type it up and then press the Safari search thing. Mm, VPN, if I want to like low key lie. Um, Spotify artists, if you want to see my stats. YouTube Studio, I am addicted to this app. I check it way too much for my own good. But I really like to reply to comments, you know, see, see what's, see what's happening. Yesterday I hit 1,420 subs and that was a really, really amazing moment. And apparently, 32 people had to go in and ruin it for me. So, no, I'm just kidding. I love you. Thanks, 32 people. This app called Into Live, where you can make a live wallpaper. Next, we have Reddit. I don't have a Reddit, but I like to go on Reddit sometimes because sometimes there's some really laughable things on Reddit, and I just want to make fun of people. Nike Training Club, because I used to like doing workouts on my phone. Now I prefer to do YouTube workouts. Um, but I haven't worked out in a little while because I got lazy. An app called Sky View. You can open it and look at the sky. So that's really awesome. I have these apps. I literally don't even use them. Don't use anything. Visco. I don't even use this. I, I just use the like default photos editor. You know what? Might as well delete that right now. I don't even know what this is doing on here. I don't even know what that is. Insect Share, which is if I want to print out a Polaroid picture from my camera roll, I can do that with this app. This one is so I can see who unfollows me. But I haven't logged into it yet because I don't care that much. I have GarageBand. I don't use it on... Shut up. Okay, Messenger, which is like Facebook texting. Facebook, which is for old people in Filipinos. Bose Connect for my headphones, which are really sick and awesome. They're rose gold, and I can control them on here if I want to. They're named Peppa, like the pig. Food Panda, if I want to order food. I have shortcuts. Okay, you know what? Might as well do the tutorial right now. So if you want to change your app icon, all you got to do is go to My Shortcuts and then click the little 
thingy, all shortcuts, plus button, add action, scripting, open app, choose whatever app you want, zoom, okay, three dots on the side, add to home screen, tap this little icon, choose whatever you want, or you can take a photo with a frowny face because zoom makes me sad, there, zoom sucks, I don't know, zoom sucks, then you add it, now you have yourself uh, being sad because you have to go back to online school, <laughs> okay, a fun fact about me, I actually don't really care if you have to go through shortcuts before opening your app is I actually never like tap my apps. I always search for them. So <laughs> if I want to go to like whatever app like Visco, then I just swipe up and search. Like I don't understand why people like swipe through their screens to find their apps. Like why would you do that when you can just like type a letter and then like it's there. Like I don't remember where my apps were. Going back! Why are we not done yet? Because you don't stop talking. Okay, after light. I use this a lot because when you're on photos and you do the default editing on the corner, you can like tap after light. Google photos. I have all my photos backed up on here. Yeah, I'm too scared to delete anything from my camera roll. My photos are actually taking up 200 gigabytes of storage. It's so funny because I was watching this what's on my iPhone video and then this girl was like, oh my god, I have 5,000 photos and I'm out here. Let's see how many photos I have. God damn it. Skype, who even uses Skype anymore? Next app. I downloaded a lot of these in middle school, hence the thought bubble emoji, who even uses that? It's really weird and really ugly, so... Oh my god, did you get... Were you just looking at my acne the whole time? Hashtag exposed. Okay, next one. We have the dictionary app, which is really great, uh, but I don't use it because I can just Google the word instead. But if I don't have internet, th this actually works. But then it's defeated because it's offloaded, so if I don't have internet, I can't download it. Anyway, whatever, it looks cool. It makes me look smart, like a little linguist. And I have these widgets. I have Ariel, Spider-Man, and Princess Peach, because I love them. Okay, <laughs> next I have Guitar Tuna, which is if I want to tune my guitar, I can also use the metronome. I have Libby, which I can download books on, but I don't anymore, because I found a little a new trick, but I'm not gonna uh, share it. Okay, next I have Contacts. It looks, it's just cute. It's a little pelican from Animal Crossing. Next I have Discord. I literally hate Discord with my entire heart. I hate Discord so much. A lot of people I know use Discord, so I have to comply and talk to people on Discord, even though I really hate it with my whole being. Um, it's really fun though because when you open Discord, um, my uh, my friend. <laughs> Fuck you! Just kidding. I love you so much. Well, why did you change it? Why why just ruin a good thing? Why would you do that? I have this widget that I set to like be a friend screen, different photos in an album of my different friends. So. Every time you swipe past it or whatever, like every couple minutes, it changes the picture. And right now it's a picture of my school friends from when we were in the play together. I have friends. Okay. Okay. Netflix. I don't watch Netflix on my phone. I haven't been catching up on Netflix recently, but I really would like to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. I know everyone loves it. I know it was really, really hot like a, a month ago and I've been putting it off forever. I haven't been watching the stuff recently. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I just go to TikTok, which is really sad. I don't even like TikTok that much. Actually, I do. That's a lie. But I would rather watch a show. But then I'm, like, more willing to invest time in thinking of, like, very short clips than, like, a long one. Even though I would much rather be watching Avatar The Last Airbender. So maybe tonight I will not go on TikTok and I will watch Avatar The Last Airbender instead. Oh, my God. I've been talking for so long. Someone help. Netflix is really great because Georgia and I, I gave her my stupid account because uh, she's broke. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding right now. Uh, we set each other's profile pictures. I'm the big boss baby. Baby boss. I'm the boss baby girl. I think we have a resemblance. And I set her to be, none of us watch Black Mirror, but I just thought the munch was really funny. So that's what it is. Also, recommendation, Bojack Horseman. Okay, we're almost done here. Next, we have a school. And I, they're all offloaded because who the fuck does school on their phone? Nobody. But I have the basic essentials, the Google stuff. I use my computer though, uh, Duolingo, who even uses that seriously? Who even who even uses that seriously? Quizlet is the best, but I, literally all of them on my computer. I do use Kahoot on my phone sometimes though. Here I have this panda and he's actually supposed to help you learn Chinese. And I downloaded this in middle school when I was taking Mandarin. And then I stopped taking Mandarin because it was too hard and this panda is still on there to remind me of my failures. Next we have the games folder which is really fun. It's from middle school. And I haven't played any of these since middle school. And I haven't deleted them because do you see how many, do you see how many apps these are? Do you think I have time? I'm just not gonna, so I'm just gonna have this offload folder forever. Trip down memory lane right now. I apologize. Oh, this one's really fun. The action thing. I was addicted to this in like 
fourth grade on the iPad and my cousins and I would blow stuff up in the restaurant and we were we thought it was the funniest thing in the world so what Star Wars yeah this is kind of sick though where are you gonna blow up uh Uh, do I get a Grammy yet? Next, we have this extras folder. I don't even know what's on here. Oh, Gboard! I use this, actually. I have a fancy keyboard, and that's from Gboard, and it's really great. Actually, it's not, because it autocorrects words that don't need to be corrected. Like, I'll type my, and it corrects to, like, re, for no reason. Like, my is a word, except for I do like the pink clouds. I painted that, by the way. I'm low-key an artist. Secretly, okay, for real. I have the Disneyland app, which I just put outside because I love the castle. Next, we have this app called Willful Kitty, which is a really cute game. Um, no, F who? E okay, does anyone actually use Game Center? What even is that? What? Who cares that much to like keep track of their scores? It's just a game, like chill. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> why did I get so heated about that? What? Who cares that much? It's like the threes. Now I think about it, is this like just like a, my type for games, like? Swipey games that are cute and aesthetic. Next, we have the Mario Kart app, which I've never played either. But it's cute because I love these characters. Next, we have... Like, it starts off incredibly easy, so I low-key never want to reach out to it because I know for the first, like, minute, it's going to be boring as hell. And that's it. Oh, wait, no, it's not it. I'm so sorry. I forgot to teach you how to do your widgets. So, I actually hid this in the app library. I used Widget Smith and color widgets. So that was for my Alice in Wonderland thing. So all you do is just tap whatever widget you want, choose whatever size you want, whatever font you want, and then add your photo. Super easy. And then um, it'll have this question mark thing and it'll tell you how to do it. So yeah, just trust it. I don't know if I can do it, just use it. And then I have this app called Widget Smith, which is um, what I use for the majority of my other widgets. You tap it and then you go all the way down to photos or photos and albums. So for my friends widget, I used photos and album. I made like a friends widget album. Otherwise, if you just want one picture, then you just choose photo. Choose whatever freaking photo you want. So I'm gonna choose me and my frog, the clobby. Oops. Uh, you save that little thing and then you edit your <laughs> edit home screen and then press the plus. Oh my god! What did I do? Large widget of me and Claudie and Claude. And choose the one you created, and there you go, me and my frog buddy. But I don't want myself on my home screen because that's weird, so I'm just removing that. And then on the last page is me thumbs down saying Zoom sucks. And you were there with me to create the magic, so I hope you enjoyed that experience. Um, yeah. <coughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you. Fuck. Hopefully you'll enjoy the next one. Peace out. Love you. Okay, bye. I can't believe I was like actually about to end the video by going like that. Whatever. Ha. Ask about my dad.